A while back I played one of these beautifully labeled opera disc records for you, explaining to you um, that these records, this one particularly done by Caruso, was not a legitimate record because Caruso never recorded for the opera disc company. These were part of the spoils of World War I when the German affiliate, affiliate at the time um, had its uh, all of its stock confiscated and then later these uh, records were pressed and they tried to introduce these in the United States uh, in the early 1920s under the Opera Disc label and of course Victor sued and um, the Opera Disc Company uh, was forced to turn over its remaining uh, illegal stock to the Victor Company but that was not the only pirate that utilized um, those stolen masters from the gramophone company. This is another label that I ran across, and this is also a pirate. This is a symphony concert record. These were done in the night, pressed in the 19 teens by an American, John Fletcher, who um, actually pressed them at a plant in New York City. Uh, s somewhere in New York, and this one is um, Gianconda Cielo e Mara by Enrico uh, Caruso, and he got away with this for quite some time uh, during the 19 teens. I don't think these were big sellers, but it's interesting to see uh, yet another pirate, and he actually made it even more confusing because this actual this label that he used, the Symphony Concert label, concert record label was an actual label that was um, previously done prior to World War I um, in, uh, in Germany, which made things even more confusing. I'm sure he did that deliberately. Um, but here's Gene Kahn de Cielo e Mara done on this other pirate, the Symphony Concert label, which is another example of the uh, spoils of World War I. Let me play that for you now. I'll play this on the... Uh, Credenza.
All right, there you have it, the uh, second pirated um, record that I featured here on the Victrola Man channel, and that was on the Symphony Concert label, um, which was pressed again by John Fletcher's uh, opera phone company here in the United States. And um, that's Gianconda Cielo e Mar. I believe this came from a 1911, originally came from a 1911 uh, uh, HMV, his master's voice. Uh, gramophone company uh, pressing. 